All right, welcome, welcome. We're gonna go talk to Dumbledore about my camera. Can we talk? You came just on time. Mr. Flinders had just finished telling me what happened on the with the cameo at the training grounds. That's right, I told him all about how you two were plotting to release the cameo on the school and how poor Mrs. Norris and I barely made it out with our lives. That's not true and you know it. Hagrid's right, Professor Flinch is exaggerating. None of that actually happened. That's what they want you to think they Now, Mr. Flinch, you have had your chance to speak. It's time to let Mr. Dane and Hagrid tell those side of the story, which I hope will include how a Camaro ended up on the training grounds. And we will explain everything. Do 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 Okay. I see, so you will track in a chimera, and it turned out to be the one living in the magical creatures reserve. And Mr. Dan, you brought it to the training grounds to show how good. That's right. We were getting ready to take chimera back to the reserve when Flinch ran up. Uh, he kept yelling and even provoked it, and, but even then it never laid a paw on him or his cat. And Dark Horse was able to get it back to the creature creature resolve without anyone getting hope. And then my decision 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 is clear. I'm afraid I have no other choice but to send the Camaro away and punish the both of you. But Professor Dumbledore so so if the two of you troublemakers wait to may I suggest the shackles headmaster. But that won't be necessary. I can't I can take it from here. Suit yourself. I hope you understand why I cannot let this incident with the Camaro go without consequences. I'm sorry, Professor, but I don't understand. We were careful, no one got a hurt, and Hagrid got to fulfill one of his dreams. But I agree with Darkus. I really thought you would see our side. I do, but I'm afraid the Ministry and, and concerned parents won't care about the reasons and good intentions. If they find out not only it was a deadly creature brought to in onto school grounds, but that there were no consequences for the, those behind it, and that the Camaro still wasn't under control, they would surely use it as an opportunity to insert themselves into Hogwarts business. And I cannot allow that. But if we could ensure that Camaro won't leave the magical creatures reserves again, would you be able to convince the Ministry and concern parents that it's not a threat to Hogwarts? If you can prove that it won't endanger the school, but I don't see why not. But how are you going to do that? The same way we got Kamehameha to settle down before food. Come to think of it, uh, come to the Magical Creatures Reserve after we have fled, fed the Kamehameha Professor. I think you'll see the Kamehameha won't be a problem. Oops. Uh, where is it? Oh, so I actually have to feed it one time? Anyways, let's just start to the talk to Tulip. Now, have you ever been to the uncle's joke shop? Tonks gave, gave me a green tool. I only need one more thing to create the ultimate dung bomb and get the key away from Mueller. I need you to acquire the jumbo dung, bo dung bomb from Zonkos, but they will very, they are very rare. Built in blimes, the old man who walks there knows me telling him I sent you. I know, if you know that this old man, why don't you go yourself? I'll obviously be preparing for the other ingredients. There's no time to question my methods. You are a very strange post person, Tulip. I'm too busy to be normal. We'll meet again when you have the jumbo dung bomb from Zonkos. Good luck.
Thank you for coming and going to give Kameo a chance, Professor. Now that it's well fed, it's calm and ready to, for visitors. I gave my word if you were able to prove that the Kameo won't endanger Hogwarts and that it won't wander off onto school grounds, I would reconsider my decision to send the Kameo away. I intend to honor that. And I came along to v provide a voice of, v of reason. Actually, I'm glad Flinch came. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, if we can prove to Flinch that Kameo isn't a threat out there in the Magical Futures Reserve, then Professor Dumbledore should have no problem addressing pub possible concerns from the Ministry or parents for fat chains that will happen. I won't condone anything that's a danger to Mrs. Nose. Now, Mr. Flinch, let's give them a chance. Thank you. When you observe Kameo and see how content it is, I think you'll see there's no need to worry. After watching Kameo, I hope you can see that even though a Kameo can't be trained, if it's kept fed and ha has its needs attended to, it won't have any reason to wander onto school grounds. Not to mention, the only reason it came onto the grounds uh, was because we loaded there, and we certainly won't be doing that again. Oh please, it's just an act to lure us into it so it can attack. Isn't that right, Mrs. Norris? Mrs. Norris? No, oh, she's getting all friendly and cozy. You may not like Kameo Flinch, but it looks like Mrs. Nose sure does. See, it doesn't want to hurt her. If it did, easy play like her would have been gobbled up by now. What Haggard is trying to say is that because Kameo is content, it has no reason to attack. Uh, so will you admit that now that Kameo isn't as much as a threat as you thought, Flinch? I've never been one to question Mrs. Noah's judgment. As long as it stays off my grounds, I suppose that it staying here is all right with me and Mrs. Noah's. But I still think you two ought to be suspended f from the ceiling by your ankles. Torture aside, do you agree, Professor Dumbledore? Will you change your mind about sending Kamara away? You and Hagrid have certainly given me a lot to consider. I'll give it some thoughts and summon you to my office. Meet put with Dumbledore. Oh. Professor, have you made a decision about what's going to hap happen to Kameo? I have. I'll start by announcing my ruling on the fate of your Kameo. Then we'll discuss your punishment for this incident. So you have decided uh, that Kameo can stay? Yes, you made it clear that it won't be a danger to Hogwarts living in the Magical Creatures Reserve. Though you must agree to keep it satated, what satated, uh, and promise to never bring it onto school grounds again. We can do that, but what about the ministry and concerned parents? Won't they protect, uh, protest if they find out? You have given me enough proof that I believe I will be able to dispel the little concerns. That's great news. Now Kameo doesn't have to get, uh, have to leave its home. Now, those, those the matter of your punishment, before you can say anything, I just wanted to say that none of this was Darkos' fault. Uh, I asked him to help me track down the Kamehameha without telling him what it, it was. Uh, and I asked him to bring it to the training grounds. If they're going to punish anyone, punish me, not him. Is that true? It is not true, Professor Dumbledore. Hagrid's just uh, taking all the blame to keep me from getting in trouble. The truth is, if he hadn't asked me to help, I would have asked if I could join him. I'm as responsible for all of this as he is. 
I admire your honesty, but I will be taking 10 points from Gryffindor for a serious lack of judgment. And as for you, Hagrid, we will discuss things further in private. Am I going to get detention? And what about me? Am I going to get suspended or sacked? I don't think that will be necessary. I would just say you two have learned your lesson. Am I wrong? We have. Thank you. And thank you for everything. Uh, every time we work with creatures together, we become closer friends, and I couldn't ask for a better one. Ooh, level 6, Hagrid. Alright then, since that is done, uh, let's go get a Jumbo Dung Bomb. Welcome back to Zonkers. How can I help you, young Gryffindor? I need a jumbo dung bomb t tulip cross who sent me. Did she tell you the password? No, there was no password. Let me check in the bag. Back. Uh, people call me weird, but I'm starting to think that I'm actually quite normal. <laughs> Fair enough. Welcome back to Zonkers. How can I help uh, you, young Gryffindor? I told you I need a Jumbo Dong Bomb. You were supposed to be checking for one in the back. Oh, Jumbo Dong Bombs are very rare. I only have one in the shop. I can sell it for less than 417 million galleons. That's absurd. Thank you. I don't have... Money like that? Are you sure that there's no other way I could get the Jumbo Dung Bomb? Uh, as it turns out, there are a couple items I require for various joke shop uh, uh, articles and activities. I need baby mandrakes. You can get them from your Herbology green, um, Greenhouse. I also ordered a barrel of rare beverage from the Three Boomsticks Butterbeer 1707. I would fetch them myself, but I am tied down here at the shop, sometimes quite literally. Bring me those items, and the Jumbo Dung Bomb is yours. Fail, and you will perish in the fairy tragedy. I'm kidding, it will actually be more of a watery comedy. Off with you now. <laughs> Alrighty, collect wave. Um, what was it? Collect wave. What? I don't know. Uh, but, 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 but. G -g -g uh, that hits the spot. I feel these poor boggarts. It's not their fault. They are scary. Oh, Madame Wasmota, do you have a moment? Hello, dear. My new extra sweet but the beer is all the rage, thanks to you. I hear you have a token of my, my appreciations. Uh, I'm happy to help. Speaking of which, what can I do for you today? Mr. Bilton Blimes at Zonkers asked me to pick up a package for him, some rare vintage butterbeer. The 1707 tell him the, that walking mustache that he can come up the road and fetch it himself. He says he's tied up. Very well, mind the customers while I fetch it from the back room. Here you are, dear, a barrel of butterbeer. Uh, thank you, Madam Wasmoto. I'll bring this straight to Mr. Blimes at Zonkers. When you do, remind him that this ta his tab is getting very large. Alright. Let's go. T meet Warren, I guess. Meet Warren. You said you found something on my bed? Yeah, it's weird. It's just appeared there. I didn't open it in case it was private, of course. There was only one way to find out. Dear Dr. Stan, you are in grave danger. Your investigation into coast vaults has drawn the attention of a group who is not to be tr trifled with. Be careful, but remain c 
courageous and depending on you to reach the final vault before the others. I will assist you when I can. I hope that the next time I deliver you a message, the circumstances are less mysterious. Sincerely, a friend. Who do you think wrote the letter? Uh, I think this is another one of Mueller's tricks. She's trying to scare me with, from searching for the next vault. Suppose she did fake a letter from Snape back in our first year. Who do you think this mysterious group is? Uh, and her cronies and not something more dangerous. I don't think I don't have time to worry about a letter. Uh, when I get the key to my brother's room for Mueller, we'll be one step closer to solving all three mysteries. All right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Tulip Cross, ooh, the fatness of young prankster and all the wizards in the world. It's good to see you again, Miss Sublime. So you brought your requested items and would like our jumbo dung bomb. But of course, I'm never one to stand in the way of something horribly sm smelly. It may take me some time to keep we keep our jumbo dung bomb under 37 separate locks in an old factory all factory controlled environment let's have a look around here you are the only jumbo dung bomb in all of hogsmeade thank you mr blimes you have been very helpful and very strange you're welcome i'm here to ease i'll take some time to Disassemble this ju jumbo ju dung bomb and craft it into something even more devastating. I'll let you know when it needs its ready for Mueller. Ah. Prank Mueller. Let's go. There they are. Shh. I didn't say anything. Shh. The slightest sound could trigger an, any my ultimate dung bomb. Let's watch Mueller and her cronies to determine the best time to strike. Now's our chance. Use the hardened and charmed on my ultimate dung bomb. Though. Good, be ready to send it flying. I'm casting the killing coast on the next Gryffindor I see. You don't even know the killing coast. I accidentally sat on a bull chocolate once. What does that have to do with anything? I thought we were talking about killing things. I hate you both. Now. Depulso. What kind of creature is that? I don't know what it is. Let's kill it. It's some sort of dung bomb. I can't breathe. This smells... <coughs> One. Get back here, you, you cowards. I should have known it was you. Give us the key, Mueller. I don't know how long I can stay in your stink. Us? You weren't good enough for me, so you had to work with Thane. How does it feel to know I found your brother's room before you? Let's do it one more time. I, if you can beat me again, I'll give you the key. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, easy, easy pickings. Flippendo. <laughs> one shot, one kill, bitch. Hey, I won Mueller again. Now give me the key and take it. I already got what I needed from the mental cases room anyway. We could still use your help. I don't help traders watch this one day and it's only a matter of time before she stabs you in the back. Now get out of my way. Mission accomplished. Let's get ready to enter your brother's room. Chapter 6 complete.
Chapter 7, Jacob's room. Students feels look in the nooks and crannies of Hogwarts now that you have both keys to your brother's sanctuary. You hope to uncover a way to end this boggled menace.